In today's tutorial, I will show you how to contribute to an open source project. This is what the final result will look like. We will make a pull request with the change that we're trying to merge into the open source project. And once the reviewer has approved the merge request, then we should see some type of message letting us know that our change was merged into the open source project. In this specific example, I just created a pull request and I explained what the current behavior was as well as what the new behavior was. So to start, the first thing you want to do is to find an open source project that you find interesting and want to help contribute to. Once you have found the project that you want to contribute to, there is usually a section in a readme that explains how to contribute specifically to that project. In this example, I'll be using the Superbase repo that you see here. And if we scroll down in the readme, we can see there's a section about how to get started contributing to this repo. And if we click on a link, we can read more information about how to contribute to this specific repo. Once you've read the documentation about how to get started, assuming there is any, the next step we want to do is to fork the repo. And forking the repo will allow us to get a copy of this exact project in our own GitHub account. And that way we can start making pull requests. So we can click the fork button up here and just click create fork. Now we have a forked version of the Superbase repo. The next step is to clone this forked version of the repo. And we can do that by going to the code button here and just copying the URL that you see here. Once you have it copied, we can just switch over to our terminal and just type in this command git clone and then paste a URL that we just copied and hit enter. I will also assume that you have git configured to be used in your terminal. If you don't have that set up already, you can just follow the instructions of this link. And I will also make sure to leave this link in the description so you can easily find it. Going back to my terminal, I can now just hit enter to clone the project, but since I already cloned it, I'm not going to do it right now. But once you hit enter, you should now see the project begin to clone and just wait for it to finish. Once it's finished cloning, you can now open the project in your code editor. I already have the Superbase project open as you can see here. So if I look at the file explorer, I can see all the files for this specific project. The next step is to find an issue to fix for your open source project. And the easiest way to find that is to go back to the GitHub repo and click on the issues tab that you see here. You should now see a list of issues that you could potentially fix to help contribute to this project. However, if this is your first time contributing to open source projects, the easiest issue to fix is usually one that's related to documentation or an issue that has the label good first issue, as you can see here. If the project that you're looking at has this label, that means it's usually a really easy issue to fix for anyone who's new to contributing to this specific project. If you click on it, we should now see all of the issues that are good first issues for people who are just getting started. Once you have figured out which issue you want to fix, the next step is to create a branch with your code fix and then afterwards make a pull request. Before I show you those steps, I'll be showing you the issue that I'll be fixing for this tutorial. So the issue I'll be fixing has to do with a typo on their website. So I went to their documentation page and I was scrolling through some of their docs and I noticed that this hyperlink here will lead you to a broken link. So I'll be fixing the broken link as part of my pull request. Switching back to VS Code, I will now look for the file where I can update the typo so that it brings us to the correct link. And the easiest way to find the file is to go back to the documentation page and just copy some text that is near what we're looking for. So for example, I'll just copy that and just look for it. And now I can see here, this is a page for the documentation that I'm looking at. I will now make the code change to fix this broken link by just pasting in the new link that it should be and just hitting save. In this specific example, this is the only code change I'm making, but for whatever change you're making, once you're completely done for all your code fixes, just make sure to save the file, and then now we'll create a branch. We can easily create a branch in VS Code by going to the bottom left and just clicking the branch button, and then clicking on create new branch. Then we can name our branch. I'm just gonna name it this for now, and just hit enter. Then open up a terminal, and just add all of our changes by doing git add star, and hit enter. Commit your changes, hit enter, and then just do git push and copy the git push command that you see here, just paste it and hit enter. If we go back to our GitHub account with the forked repo, we should now see this message here. Just click on compare and pull request. Depending on your repo, you might have to fill out some information. So I'll just do that very quickly. Once you have filled out the information here, just click on create pull request. Now you have successfully created a pull request to your first open source project. We just have to wait for someone to approve the pull request or if someone adds comments for us to make some changes, then we can just make those changes and then hopefully our pull request will get accepted to the open source project. And those are all the steps to contribute to an open source project. And like I showed at the beginning of this video, this is what the final result should look like. You should see approval by one of the reviewers of the project. And if we scroll all the way down, we should now see a message letting us know that our commit was merged into the master version of the branch. That is the end of this video. If this video helped you in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.